Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Oscar. And together we are the Ginfluencers UK. The gin we're trying today is called Genetic. That one yeah, right there. That one there. This gin is created using traditional French distillation techniques. It's double distilled in the same kind of stills used for centuries to produce cognac. It's blend of six botanicals are then gently heated over a bain-marie. These include juniper, Jamaican pepper, lemon peel, Spanish coriander, angelica and cinchona bark. It comes in a 70 centilitre bottle with an ABV of 43% and you can find it for around 25 to 30 pounds. So they've been making a classic GNT using premium tonic water and a wedge of lime. There you go. As right always, we're trying it neat first. There we go. This wasn't our first take. I had <laughs> fits of laughter that I couldn't recover from. So there we go. This has been about our seventh take. Yeah, may, <laughs> maybe more. Right, it's a big cork. It's a very big cork. Oh, and a big pop. It wasn't so such a big pop, but there you go. Sorry, I had that crafty sniff there. Okay. Mmm. The smell is weird. Okay. It is cognac-y. Oh. It's got a cognac -y smell. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, it's got a cognac-y taste. Hold on, I need some more. Do you not think it's got a cognac -y taste? Yeah, I do. Oh, wow. I'm getting burnt. Yeah. When I was young, we used to have, we used to have beers and we used to have like cognac chasers. And yeah, this to me is like that. Um, I think we just need to get it a tonic. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think this is a straight type of gin. I don't know whether it's pleasant or unpleasant right now. No, the more I have of it, the more it isn't pleasant. Right, let's okay. get it in tonic. Let's try it. Cheers. 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 Still got that smell. I know. Yeah. Um. Okay, on first taste, I'm not. I'm not sold on I'm it. I'm not sold on it. It's got a strange, strange flavour. It's incredibly sharp. There's a flavour in there. I have no idea what it is. I can taste some cardamom in there. Um, it is a bit citrusy. Um, God, that smell is, it's really off-putting. It smells a bit off-putting. It is off-putting. The weird thing is, I think for me, it's one of those ones where... No, do you know what, it's too bitter. It's... I don't, I don't necessarily like it, but I probably could drink it. It, do, it doesn't taste artificial. Right, so when we've tried, you know, like with Gordon's, Gordon's taste artificial. This doesn't taste artificial. No. But I'm just, I just don't think the blend is right for me. I'm just not enjoying it. I'm getting a very dry mouth. Very dry mouth. Um, there's a weird taste. Yeah, there's a really weird taste. Maybe, maybe it's these cognac barrels. It's, it's a bit perfumey but then with elements, it's like it's been served in a glass that's already had a bit no. of cognac in. Uh, it's a bit too um, but earthy, it, bit too earthy for me. But it doesn't, for me it's not like earthy. It's, it's, it's a weird flavour. It's not like when you get those um, like rested gins that are rested in port barrels and all these other things because they have a clear, distinct And some of them come out flavor. quite sweet. Yeah. This is completely, I mean, it's so bitter. I mean, it's, it's at the Gordon's end of bitterness, right? But... See, I'm not getting that much. I'm, it's not that bitter for me. But I just think... Oh, I am. I just think the flavours for me are fighting against each other. It, 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 it's not yeah. flowing. Do you know what? You're absolutely right. There's too much 
going on, but yeah. nothing. They don't complement. Yeah, there's, there's nothing. Yeah. They're all very. There's different. no. There's no harmony in the flavour. There's no. Oh, okay. You get the kind of nose. You get the palate. You get. You know. You get the aftertaste and things. It's all like bang, 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 but not, not in a pleasant way. It's not like oh, this is this is amazing going on, because it's a really strange aftertaste. Mm. Right. I think combined I think should... with the smell, yeah, and the fact that I don't actually want to drink anymore. Right. Let's score Let's this. Let's score it. Okay. <clears throat> could I finish the glass? Yeah, I could finish the glass. If I'd paid for the glass, I'd finish it. <laughs> You I wouldn't because we I, bought the bottle. I wouldn't <laughs> order it again. This time I'll buy it if I was in a pub, right? Yeah, if I if I'd ordered it in a pub, I'd finish it only because I paid for it. I wouldn't order it again. Um, and I definitely wouldn't, yeah, I, I definitely wouldn't get it again. It's a little bit <laughs> well, I should have said that after the scoring, really. Yeah, I? maybe. Um, yeah, do you know okay. what? Yeah. Right. I paid for this, so I, yeah, I'm gonna be honest about this. Right, go. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I'm not. Right, I, I could, I could finish it. I could finish it. For it's, it's below halfway. Um, I could finish it. I'm disappointed because no, no, the no, bottle no, no, looks no, lovely. Actually, okay, yeah, I'm. Oh. Three. Yeah, I'm rescoring. <sighs> it ain't great. <laughs> It's not great. The flavours for me are there, fighting there be, against each other. There'll be people out there that'll like that. Yeah. Right? Because everyone's tastes are different. My for taste us, is different to yours. Very different, yeah. right? But for me, no. Okay. The um, smell is just off. The smell the, is just the off smell's putting. off putting. Yeah, it really is off putting. It hasn't worked. I don't think it's worked putting in the cognac bar barrels. Um, it would have been interesting to see had they not put in the cognac barrels if it'd be more drinkable. Mm. Um, it's just, far too bitter for me. I just think the flavours are in there. The smell and the taste afterwards. I'm disappointed. It's a yeah. shame because it actually looks really nice. Lovely looking bottle. Nice little label. Don't want to really, really want to put anyone down. Maybe go and try it yourself. You might totally disagree with us. Um, I mean, I could, I could drink it. If someone bought it for me, I could drink it at a push. My mouth has got so dry. But I could drink it at a push. That's it. I mean, it's, it's not one of those ones where I go, I'm going to literally tip it down the sink. This this would last me a be good a half an hour, hour, you know, like four, 40 minutes. Like I wouldn't be knocking that back unless it was a case of I knew I weren't going to get that again and I'd have a different gin, then I could swig it. I just had a, this sounds really, I've had a bit of a burp and it doesn't taste nice. <laughs> it, it actually, it actually doesn't taste nice. I'm disappointed. So do you know what? Three is pushing it. I'm not going to take it down any further, but three is pushing I'm, it. I'm really disappointed. I yeah. am because I, we we really we like to be positive. We don't mm. like to have a pop at, at distillers, right? Um, but I mean, our, our tastes are different. Our tastes are different to each other's. Our tastes are different to yours. So you know, yeah, not, I'm not saying people don't, will don't like give it this. a try. We we don't like it. You know, it's not one for us. It won't be gracing our shelves again, unfortunately. No. There are far more gins out there we'd like to give a try to. But, you know, that's what you get from us. You, you know, we, we buy our own gin, so you get an honest review. We're, we're not bought by anyone. So when we, when we buy a gin, you know, it is to enjoy, because when you buy a gin, you want to buy it and, and enjoy it and stuff. So we give an honest review, and, and that's what we've done. And, we, and for us, it doesn't work. We've bought some gins on people's referral, and most of them have been good. Right, and some of them have been, been so inaccurate, it's yeah. actually disappointing. So, you know, whether or not they were sponsored, I don't know. See, I, I worry sometimes, because we have bought a lot in our collection, and, and the majority of them we haven't tried yet. And we've bought them because they've got great referrals, and then kind of going back that you realise that... They were gifted. Uh, they were gifted, and it's like, well, and a lot of those ones we've tried, we, we haven't, they haven't lived up to the hype they've had. So. That's why we want to do our thing and we want to give you our honest opinion and um, you might have different tastes to us, so it might be very different. But what we want to do is, is do something really, really kind of honest. And yeah, and for us, this is not living yeah, up to it. Not a winner. But anyway, so um, I will toast you to this, but uh, you know, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Cheers.